dude. Stick him. He's gonna come up right here. Stick him, dude. Stick him. Stick him. Stick him. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! It's an interesting day, man. <laughs> I'm Emmanuel Williams and we are here in Venice, Louisiana and today I caught the first swordfish on a PwC in history. Let me walk you through it. It's always been a dream of mine to catch a big swordfish on my sea dew and what better place in Louisiana. It is filled with life. Whether it's swordfish, yellowfin or red snappers on the oil rigs, this is a place to be. The first thing I did was hit up my buddy Blake from Triple Tail Charters. He told me it's a great time to come here and get on a swordfish. He's on them every single day. So I hopped in my chuck and we drove from Miami. So there was no way I was gonna do this trip alone. I made sure to hit on my homies, Tyler and Sebastian, and we got ourselves a beautiful houseboat right here on the bayou. <laughs> I think Emmanuel picked me up at like 2 a.m. and uh, said, all right, we got 14 hours to go. Let's go catch a big swordfish. And I'm like, all right, let's go. So we started off the morning super early following Blake about 50 miles into the Gulf. 6.30 in the morning, I said, all you men, I'm gonna go ahead and sit on Blake's boat in the bean bag with Tyler and relax while we run 40 miles into the abyss. And I'm looking around thinking, man, it feels like the planet Mars out here. I see Emmanuel, he's in the zone on his ski, ripping it. I really leaned on Blake for his expertise during this trip, and thankfully he got us all rigged up, got us some nice sword baits. Next thing you know, we are fishing. So I hop on the sea deal, and immediately we have our baits down 1,400 feet, and we're waiting for a bite. All we need is that little and we're waiting, man. After what it was like three hours out of bite, we really started to get worried. We came all this way and we needed our swordfish. To the rod go, whoa, slack off, then a little dip. We know he's there. That's the swordfish's bill whacking the bait. Comes up and immediately just peels over. <laughs> Hop on the reel and we're tight, baby. Next thing you know, we were in a full on battle with a swordfish coming up from the depths. So once I realized we were tight, my heart was racing so hard. I just couldn't fathom that this was finally gonna happen. I was cranking on the fish maybe for about five minutes. My arm got super tired. I switched in Sebastian and he got right to work, cranking on it, helping me get that fish to the surface. You have to think we are hooked into a big, powerful fish on a PWC we have a lot of weight, the water got rough on us, so it was very hard to manage how much we were rocking and the fish digging down, but thank God we were able to hold it together and we kept cranking this fish up. It's tough, I mean, he was over here winding, winding, I'm trying to keep us in position, in and out of gear, and there's just not much room for air. It's coming up. Now that the swordfish is almost at the boat, the pressure was really on. Me and Sebastian started scrambling, trying to find gaff. Sebastian's behind me, trying to gab a gaff. I'm still cranking on this fish. Finally, we get the sword near the surface. 
I'm cranking on him, I'm screaming at Sebastian, stick him, stick him. Stick him, dude. Stick him, stick him, stick him. Hell yeah! Woo! Hell yeah! So I reach out, this thing is going to long arm as far as I can get and scoop him up like I'm raking leaves. Nice <laughs> shot on the outer ribs. Oh my gosh. I followed him up with another guy. Guys, there you have it. First ever swordfish on a PWC on the Sea Doo Fish Curl specifically. We got ourselves on the planet, right? Yeah, first time. first time ever on the planet. We got ourselves a beautiful Broadville swordfish right here. You don't need a big boat to get it done. I couldn't believe that. I thought of making this happen, and I looked down in my lap, and we literally have a swordfish right there. My thing is getting out there on the sea, dude, chasing big fish, and this is literally my dream fish, and we made it happen. So the best problem we had all day is that we had nowhere to put this fish. So thank God we had Blake out there with us. We handed the fish off, got it in the cooler, and we started riding in. So on the way in, we stopped at an oil rig, and this is my first time in Louisiana, the first time seeing out here. So looking at that oil rig was just insane. But you know, I had to send down a jig, and we got tight instantly. After losing a couple fish on the jigs near the oil rig, I finally landed a Bonita, and it's not the fish you're after, but it's a beautiful day. We're out here in the middle of nowhere, Venice, Louisiana, on the oil rigs on a sea dew. Once he got back to the dock, he got the fish out of the boat, hung it up, got a couple pictures. And from there, we put it on the sea dew and rode back over to our houseboat. So it was my first time cleaning a swordfish and it's a big fish. So I took my time with it, got its fillets all knocked off. Now we're gonna head home with some fresh swordfish steak. This trip was an absolute dream. I still can't fathom that we landed the swordfish on the sea dew. This would not have been possible without the help of Captain Blake, my two homies, Tyler and Sebastian, and of course, the sponsors who support me, Sea dew Saw Life, and Extra Tough. Thank you guys so much. I can't believe this. Until next time.